Alright, so, before continuing with this new what if, um, I wanted to ask you guys something, <clears throat> actually say something to you guys, and like, I know, I've seen like a few, like a comment or two about, and a few likes on it about, um, you guys wanting to see Gargantuan Leviathan and Deku, so how about we make a little deal, if you guys get me to 800, if you guys get me to 800 subscribers, I will I will post a video, and I've and I'm a man of my word, so you can trust me with that. Okay, so continuing with the what if, this is this is to satisfy those of you who want who wanted to see me continue that the goddess what if, but cancelled it. So this is a new one. This is what if female Deku was the goddess of death and decay. Death of death, life and death. As, now, <clears throat> I'll just say, say this here. The part, the half of her body that her white hair is on, that is basically where all her light, the life stuff comes from, so whenever that part of her touches anything, it, rejuven it rejuvenates it or brings it back to life. <clears throat> Where, at this half of her body, brings brings nothing but decay, death and decay to whatever hap, whatever it touches, and this goes all the way down her body. So any part of her body that touches that that touches an area, it'll either rejuvenate it or kill it. <clears throat> anyway, continuing, we will begin. With the uh, birth of the universe. On. Sorry, so I heard a wasp. Anyway, <clears throat> we'll begin with the birth. Actually, we'll begin with humanity. Now, in the beginning, humanity was immortal. Like, uh, like in the Greek mythology. Like in Greek mythology before. Pandora's box was opened. <clears throat> anyway, continuing. In this time, humans were immortal, and they wouldn't didn't really need to worry about aging or dying, or dying from disease. So humanity had flourished. On. Sorry about that. As humanity had flourished, and the gods were happy with what was happening. <laughs> Until they saw a star in the sky. Now, in my universe, um, the gods are represented by their stars. So, so Izu for example, Izumi's star, which I'm going to explain right here. Is sort of is sort of in a state of limbo, where it's sort of where it's alive, but dead at the same time. If this star would emerge, a new god would come into being, as the sky would darken, as Izumi would begin to take form, in the form of this woman that you see right here. As, as all the gods are surprised, thinking that there wouldn't, they didn't think there would be a new god here, until they looked down and saw that humanity was suffering from her emergence. As humanity is currently realizing that they are beginning to age and that they're dying from, from disease as well. And they are asking the gods, why is this happening? Why did they do this to them? What did humanity do wrong? <clears throat> As Izumi didn't really know what she did when she emerged because she had no control over it. And all the gods immediately looked at, looked at her with disgust and hatred. As she's she's still 
she's like only a couple minutes old, so she doesn't know what she did or, and why they're looking at her like this. <laughs> As over the millennia, Izumi would have tried to talk to the other gods and goddesses, but she was usually ignored by them or just shunned out of there, out of the, any room they were in. <clears throat> As this had caused Izumi to become isolated and alone, as she would look up to her star. As it's still out there, still alive and still dead at the same time. As she would see all the other stars. Now, these gods are based off of Greek mythology. Greek mythology, so you have Zeus, Poseidon, Hades, and all the others. As uh, Izumi would look to their stars, as she would reach her hand out into the sky, the one that the, she reaches both hands out into the sky, the uh, living one, the skeletal one, as she would try to grasp at them to get a closer look. As she would grab a star, and I'm going to say this is of a lesser god. This is a god I made up by myself. This is a god of ma of basically magic. So basically any mythical creature that had existed was due to his existence. And due to Izumi accidentally grabbing his star with her death hand, his star, his star basically dies, leading to, the god, leading to his death. As all the myth sorry about that. As all the mythical creatures and all the magic in the world would begin to disappear. As the gods would immediately rush outside to see Iz to see Zumi holding what is left of that god's star. As Izumi would say, would begin to panic and say that she didn't mean it. She, she just wanted a closer look at it. She didn't mean to kill him. As the gods didn't even let her finish her sentence, as Zeus sent a lightning bolt right at her. Now she she still has the the eye in this socket, and this is how she loses that eye as Zeus hit her right in that eye with a lightning bolt. As Izumi would begin to scream out in pain, as her death hand touches the ground, as it begin to crumble, as Izumi would begin to fall to the mortal plane. With the gods thinking it's good riddance that she won't and she won't bother them again. As Izumi is falling. She's ba she as she's falling, she's basically vouching vouching her her revenge on the gods who had banished her. On, I mean on the gods who had harmed her and took took her eye. Now her eye was still on Olympus. Yes, it's Olympus that she was on. Her eye is still on Olympus and the gods basically use that to make another god, and this god, you might know as, is Thanatos, the god of death. As she would land on, land on the earth, as then pieces of rubble from Olympus would basically bury her, as where she fell, would become Mount Fuji. As, e as the eons would pass, as humanity would begin to flourish, and courts would come about due to a new god coming, coming around, and this god would technically be Izumi's younger bro would be Izumi's younger brother. 
Now, at this point, the gods had completely erased any signs of Izumi's presence on, on Olympus. So, nothing of hers or any memorabilia of her domain was there. As Zeus would still have his children, like he did in Greek mythology, and Hercules is... Hercules is one of All Might's is All Might's ancestor, so All Might is the great 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 grandson of Hercules. Uh, and per and um uh, hold on, give me a minute. And I'll say Bakugo is the descendant of Perseus, which makes these two which does make these two related, and yes, I know that Perseus was her, was Hercules' grandfather, was grandfather. But anyway, continuing forward. So Bakugo is egotistical because he knows he's a descendant of a great Greek hero. So not, along with his quirk being very powerful, it basically bolstered his ego, and. Hercules and Perseus do visit Earth sometimes to talk to their grandchildren. As Bakugo and an All Might would ask about Mount Fuji eventually at some point. As Hercules and Perseus' expressions would darken. Now I'm just going to say this. Um, All Might... This is, when I'm saying Hercules and All Might, I'm talking about in the past, not the present timeline. And the same with ba and Bakugo, he's a bit further on, so when I say those, I'm talking about the two timelines, talking about the same thing at the same time. As their expressions would darken. As Hercules and Perseus would state that they do not know about Mount Fuji's origins. But what they do know is that is that their father had told them to never go there, and if they find what is in there, to never release it. For if they were to be released, they would bring about bring about nothing but death and destruction. As we'll then cut to Mount Fuji with Izumi being there, just sitting sitting down in the cave, crying crying to herself as she thinking thinking to herself, why was I even born in the first place? Humanity wouldn't be suffering as much as they would be if I was never if I never came into existence. I knew my creation I knew my creation was a mistake, so why? Why do they punish me for something I had no control over? As Izumi would be continue to weep into into herself, as she is still, as she does like still, she her hand is like touching the area where her eye used to be. As she had tried to rejuvenate it, but I'm gonna say this: in my timeline, this is the lightning has a special property to where. If a god is struck by it, they cannot heal from it. No matter what they do, they will not and cannot heal. But so the ble so she has stopped bleeding, but the uh, the wound won't cover up in any way, shape, or form. Also, until and once Bakugo hears the story, once he gets older. He decides to venture to Mount Fuji, where he goes, where he then ends up entering Mount Fuji, as he would see a great a gate. Now this gate was was created by the gods after Izumi had fallen to be, make sure that she cannot awaken. And this, and in order to open it, the seal. In order to open the gate, it requires the blood of a, of a descendant of Zeus, 
or Zeus himself. And due to Bakugo being a descendant of Perseus, who is Zeus's kid, along with Hercules, this is basically a, it's basically a cakewalk. As Bakugo would end up pricking himself on the hand, as he would let his blood drip onto the seal, to which the entire mechanism would begin to open, begin to open, as a loud voice would say, "Say stop! You don't know what you're doing." As Bakugo would end up turning around, as he would see that it was Ares, the god of war. As Bakugo would say, who, who the hell are you? As Ares would say, well, I'm technically your great, great, great uncle. So, mm. anyway, do not open up. Do not finish opening up that gate. That gate is not supposed to be opened and should never be opened. And Izumi's hearing this the entire time as the mechanism is still going on. Bakugo is unlocking it without Ares noticing. As Bakugo would continue having this back and forth with Ares, as Bakugo would yell, "Whoever behind, whoever behind is behind this door, I can defeat it. I'm the, I am the descendant of Perseus, so I'm, I'm better than you. I can beat anything that's thrown at me." As the door would then open, as the light would then shine into the room, even me was locked in. And she would basically like hold her hand above like her living her living hand over her eye to so that she doesn't immediately end up being blinded by the sunlight. As Izumi would end up walking out. Now her ain't her uh, Greek tire is currently like all torn in that due to age. As Ares would say, Damn it, child, what have you done? As Izumi would be, Izumi would look into the sky, the, would walk past the both of them, as both of them are currently frozen by the sheer mouth, by the cold that she's giving off. As she'd make it to the surface of Mount Fuji, as she'd look into the sky, and immediately begin to weep due to her not seeing the sky in such a long time. As she would think to herself, "This is so. This is what has happened to humanity in the millennia I have been gone. They seem to have gone on along very well without me. I wonder what happened to the other gods." As Ares would yell, "Stop right there, Izumi!" As Izumi would turn around and see Ares. As Izumi would say, Ah, Ares. It's been a while. As Ares would say, would yell at Izumi to get back in her holding cell and that she's not supposed to be released it until the end of time. <laughs> As Izumi would say, you know what, I am tired of you gods telling me what I can and can't do. As she would then pick up a rock, as she would say, if you want to get me back in that cell so bad, then make me. As she would then throw the, ro the rock at the which basically enhanced light surface strength as it hit Ares right in the chest. Now, I'm just going to say this uh, right here. The gods do have physical forms, but they, but if their physical, uh, if their physical form is killed, then they just go right back to Olympus. It's like a respawn point. The only way you can kill a god permanently is by killing their star, which is why is in, which is why I said. The earlier that the god of magic who was killed by Zumi due to her killing his star. As 
Air, the rock would go right through Ares' torso. As she would, as Ares would then collapse, as his body would begin to crumble. As Bakugo is basically terrified at this point, as nobody has, nobody has been able to kill a Greek god, and yet here stands a person who is able to do so. As Izumi would walk up to Bakugo, as she would say, "So you're the one who released me." Now Izumi stands a good height above him, around a good one foot. So give me a minute. So Izumi standing around us, six foot seven inches. As Izumi would then lead down and say, "This is a little gift for helping me out." As she would then kiss Bakugo on the lips. As she would say, "Ta ta," as she would immediately teleport out of there. And that is where I'm going to end. Part one off. I do hope you guys enjoy this what if, and if you'd like to see more of this uh, goddess one, do let me know in the comments below, and I will see you all next time.